we think about the edge as each day generating embodiment and knowing that there's an intentional practice that you can be in every day to embody that emotion, to get to that grounding, to really create that space of stability for you. Mm -hmm. Is there a, an emotion that you have in mind that you can practice embodying? Um, yeah, the emotion, how do I say this? Um, I don't know if this is actually an emotion, but it's the, the mood of reflection. Mm -hmm. And the way in which I do that is I start my day with a long walk. And, you know, like no phones, no, nothing else to interrupt me. It's just like kind of thinking and being open and enjoying blue skies and birds and, and all that kind of stuff. That's for me, seeing the world at its best kind of. Um, so I do that every day. It's beautiful that, you know, what, what comes to mind, Steve, when I, when I think about that is for me and, and, um, this might not resonate, but I'm just going to throw it out there is like, this is the mood of curiosity of possibility. And when you're out there and you're expanding your vision to connect with like the bigger world mm -hmm. and you're not in the space of trying to, like you said, like get to the how or what is my offer. And it's like, no, I'm here in the mood of curiosity and openness and just connecting to the world around me that's where these beautiful inspirational moments emerge of, ah, now it's coming together. I feel like it's so common for us to work so hard. We're so culturally conditioned to think of what it is our yeah. offer needs to be that we lose sight of when we connect somatically, emotionally, that it actually creates the space for it to come to us. 